part in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a vignette for your videos. And this is basically a design tip that can really help you um, to create more visually appealing videos. Okay. So basically what it is, is like an overlay. So you can see you've got this footage here. If I go ahead and add the vignette on top, you have to see it adds this really nice cinematic type uh, look. Um, if I just remove that, you can see it's quite bright. It looks good as well because it's nice footage. But if you add the vignette over here, it gives it a really nice kind of cinematic type look. Um, same thing as well for uh, this explainer or this kind of cinematic type promotional video. You'll be able to see if I remove it over here. It's quite nice. It's nice and clean. But if I go and add this, it helps to um, kind of add a light kind of a feel in the middle and a shadow around the outside. You'll be able to see this like so. Looks really good. If I just bring it over here. So in this scene here, you'll be able to see um, if I remove the vignette, it's quite light. If I bring it in, it helps to yeah, focus in on the middle of the frame like that. Um, and yeah, so also like if you've got explainer videos, uh, it can add a really nice effect. You can see with this kind of text slide, this is just a, a white background because I've added the vignette on it, it adds this nice kind of focus look um, to it. So let me show you how to go ahead and create that uh, really quickly and easy in Create Studio. Um, basically what you're going to do is go ahead and add a shape and click on the rectangle tool to add this rectangle. And then what you want to do is basically expand it to so make it full width. You click this button, it does that instantly. I'm just going to zoom in a bit closer. And what I want to do now is go to the color option and select radial gradient up here. So click on that. And we're basically going to create a gradient like so. I'm just going to move this into the middle of the screen and just also grab this one and bring it down around here or so. And then what I want to do is change the color. So first I want to make it black over here. And then also I'm going to adjust the opacity. So I'm just going to bring this down like so, something like that. And then I'm going to go to the second color over here and make this one also black. So now what I want to do is add some footage. So I'm just going to grab, let's go grab this image here. I'm just going to expand it as well. And I'm going to place it underneath that rectangle. And you'll be able to see now we've got the vignette on here. And it's that effect. And you can, you know, really play around with it, make it really uh, not so um, hard, I guess, in terms of the impact, but make it more subtle. You can go ahead and just, you know, bring this opacity down. And you can also go and select this and drag this out like that. Um, and if I go ahead and just remove this image and just change the background color to white, for example, you can see the, the kind of shadow effect that it has over here. And again, you can play around with this. Just go ahead and, you know, adjust the opacity, maybe bring this second opacity down a bit as well. And you can see how it really does create a nice effect. You know, you can bring it up a bit whiter, for example, as well, and just kind of make it how you like for, you know, your specific project. Okay. So that's how to create a nice vignette in Create Studio. What you want to do as well is um, if you've got a project that say it's going for about two minutes, you can just simply drag this across. I'll go back over here and just zoom out. Just drag it across, make it the size of your project and then go ahead and lock it. And then you can also hide it by clicking on this button, just hide it like that. And then every time you create new stuff, you can, you know, you've got your vignette that overlays the entire video. Um, yeah, it makes this really nice looking effect. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. Add a thumbs up if you liked it and have fun creating vignettes in Create Studio.